What is going on, Gold Creek? You guys doing well tonight? Hey, my name is Mike. I am one of the youth pastors here. And because I'm a youth pastor and we got some youth in the room, we're going to do that one more time, get a little bit louder, okay? So Gold Creek, how we doing tonight? Come on. I love to hear it. Hey, if you hear my voice and you are in the lobby, I want to invite you in. We are about to get started. We are about to start worship night. Um, and I'm just so excited because a lot of times with being a multi-site church, there's not that many times where we're all under one roof worshiping God. Whether it's the Lake Stephen campus, the Woodenville campus, the Mill Creek campus, or even online, there is not very many times where we as a whole church get to come together and just sing the praises of God. And there's something I know about a night like tonight is that every single person that's in this room, they come walking in with something, whether it's something that's positive, God has just blessed you, and it is an opportunity for you to rejoice and celebrate what God has done in your life, or it's something that's been challenging, and you're wrestling with God. And you're like, God, how could you allow this to happen to me and my family, and you're not really sure what your next step is, and I'm just excited because I think that worship is an opportunity for us as people that call themselves followers of Jesus to posture themselves in a way that says, God, I just want to receive, or God, I want to give you praise. And so tonight, wherever you're at, whether it's something that you're wrestling with, whether it's something that you need to praise God for, what I know tonight is it's a special opportunity for you to say, God, I'm open. I don't have all the answers. I don't know what to do next, but one thing I do know is that you do have the answers. And so we sit here and we're able to worship and posture ourselves in a way where we say, God, I'm ready to receive from you tonight. And so tonight, as we get ready to worship, I just want to invite you to stand to your feet. You can stand to your feet. I did, I did mean what I said, you know? It's all good. It's all good. And I just want to bring us to a place where it's easy for us to be ready to worship God. Because that's what worship is. It's saying, God, I'm ready to receive, and God, I'm ready to praise you because you are worthy of those things. And so as I pray tonight, I want to invite you to either put your hands out in front of you to receive from God, or if you just need to praise him for how good he is, I just want you to put a hand up in this room. So with every head bowed, every eye closed, I just want to pray over our night. God, I know you are in this place. Holy Spirit, I know that you're here. God, I know that you have gone before us. And tonight, as we begin to worship, whatever it is that we have walked in with, whatever it is that we are wrestling with, God, I pray right now in this moment that we would find peace. God, I pray right now in this moment that we would be able to focus on you. That whatever distraction it is, we'd be able to lay that to the side and say, God, you are worthy of praise. God, you are worthy of honor. And God, I just pray that you would inhabit the praises of your people. God, we lift up this night to you. We lift up our lives to you. God, we pray this in all your son's name. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Come on, if you want to come down front and join us, we're going to sing. We're going to praise our God tonight. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, we sing. Remember those walls that we called sin and shame. And they were like prisons that we couldn't escape. But he came, and he died, and he rose. Those walls are rubble now. Remember those giants we call death and grave. They were like mountains that stood in our way. But he came, and he died. 
died and he rose those giants are dead now come on we lift our voice because this is our god because this is our god this is who he is he loves us this is our god this is what he does he saves us took our breath away and faith so weak that we could barely pray but he heard every word every whisper and now those altars in the so glad to be here this morning this morning this evening worshiping with you guys I'm gonna say that odd night probably just so you know hey but I want to share with you it's just a powerful uh, one of my favorite uh, stories in the Bible and it comes out of the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 20 and it talks about how Israel in that moment was at war with the surrounding nations and at that moment that they were surrounded by the nations King Jehoshaphat he didn't know what to do. He was scared out of his mind. And I want to read this quick verse to you. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 14, it says this. The Spirit of the Lord came upon one of the men standing there. His name was Jehaziel, son of Zechariah. And he said, listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says, do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours but God's. And a couple of verses uh, after that, it says, verse 21, after consulting the people, the king appointed singers to walk ahead of the army, singing to the Lord and praising him for his holy splendor. And this is what they sang. Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love endures forever. 
And this next part just blows my mind. I love this. And it says, at the very moment they began to sing and give praises, the Lord caused the armies of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir to start fighting amongst themselves. Church, God has been faithful. He's always, he always has been, he is, and he always will be. And no matter what you're facing tonight, I want you to know that God is in this place, that he's with us, that the battle is the Lord's, it's not ours. And if we put our faith and our trust in him, by just singing and worshiping him, he will take care of the rest. So let me just pray for us. Can we just come together and just thank the Lord right now. Father, we just love you that you're in this place, Jesus. And we come together as your church, God, to declare your faithfulness, to declare your goodness, God. We know you're in this place, God. And as we continue to worship, Lord, we believe that as we sing, that, Lord, chains will be broken, God. As we cry out to your name, God, we believe that walls will come down, Lord. Our enemies will be defeated and confused, God. And you will give us the victory, God, because of who you are and what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
the God of Jacob Whose love endures through generations I know that you will keep your cup I've struggled with all my life is anxiety. And in our church, we've been talking about these series that talk about anxiety and how we have to paint a picture or filter over our families and over our lives. And man, there's so many times where I get ready to step on stage and I have so much anxiety to the point where I feel like I'm gonna throw up or maybe it's because when I'm a father that I have this anxiety that I'm never gonna be a good enough father or that I'm never gonna be a good enough husband or a good enough pastor or a good enough leader or a good enough who whatever the, that line is there's always this, this voice that's telling me that you're never going to be good enough and it's something that I've struggled with my entire life and man when we sing this song it reminds me of the God that I sing about tonight that when I step on this stage when I when, my, when I'm a father when I'm with my parent my my kids and when I'm with my wife that everything I do is for the Lord and he's going to work through me no matter what. That he's the same God that split the seas open for the Israelites. That he's the same God that died on the cross and rose again three days later conquering death and sin. And so maybe you tonight are in a similar boat. Maybe you have some anxiety, you have some fear, you have some depression. And I just want to remind you of the words that we're singing is that we serve the same God, the big God that conquered death and the grave, and he is with us tonight, and he is hearing your prayers here, he's hearing your voice when you call on his name, that we can come before him boldly to his throne with who we are and say, God, I need you. So as we continue singing these songs, I wanna encourage you, lift your voice, don't be afraid. Step into what he's calling you to do today. 
and then just pressing into the Lord. Come on right now, everyone in this room, would you just close your eyes and, and lift your hands if you feel comfortable. This is just a way of saying, God, here I am, here is all of me. I'm not perfect, but God, you are, and you work through me. God, if your work is not done, you're not finished. So Jesus, work in us today. Hear our prayers. How we need you, God. How we worship you, Jesus. How we worship you, Jesus. How we worship you, Jesus. prayers back then. You hear your children now. You are the same God. You are the same God. And you answered prayers back then. And you will answer right now. You are the same God. You are the same God. You were And sitting over there, all I can think is what a privilege it is to be in the presence of the almighty God, 
to feel and to know his power and his spirit is moving within us, that he wants to interact with us. He could have stayed comfortable on his throne and yet he took the very nature and likeness of a servant coming not just as a man, but coming as a man with an intention, with one thing in mind, and that was to make a way for every person on earth, everyone who has breath in their lungs, every person who's born, to have a way to encounter the God of the universe that we would be able to spend eternity with him. And that eternity starts now, that we are not to hold off on, etern on experiencing eternity, but right now, God, the God of the world, the God who created the sun and the moon and the stars wants to interact with us now. And sometimes we need to receive, and sometimes we just need to say hallelujah because we know that even death could not conquer Jesus. Even death does not have the final say, that we know that God has made a way that no matter what we are facing, whether it's good or bad, or it's death itself, that we know that we have a way. We have a way to hope, to peace, to joy, to kindness. God has made that way for us. And I'm gonna invite all of us to just join into a corporate time of prayer. We see this all over the New Testament. Let's pray together in your own hearts, in your own minds, maybe even out loud. I invite you to pray to lift up the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. God has entrusted the name of Jesus on our own tongues, in our own minds, in our own hearts, and God, I lift up the name of Jesus. God, we know all throughout scripture, you tell us, you inhabit the praises of your people. Where two or more are gathered, you are there with us. Those who fear the Lord, you say, God, that you send an angel of the Lord to encamp around us. And God, I pray right now that every single heart and mind in this place would feel and know that the God of the universe wants to interact with them. God, I pray that you would touch your people with the Holy Spirit afresh. God, I pray for new life, new joy. God, I do pray that chains would be broken. Lord, where there's addiction, where there is difficulty in relationships, where there is some sort of difficulty with a family member. Lord, I just think of all kinds of needs in this place. I lift up those who need physical healing, who need emotional healing and mental healing. Those who have seen things that n the person to the right or left of them can't even fathom. Jesus, I pray that you yourself would come and anoint them with your oil, that your blood would cover them, that nothing that the enemy has for them would prevail. God, we claim your victory in Christ. The resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead lives inside each and every person in this room. And God, we call upon your name and we know you are faithful. God, you are faithful and we say hallelujah to you. God, we lift up our voices and we lift up our hands. Join with all of heaven joining with the generations before us, God. You have been so faithful. And now, God, we turn and say hallelujah with our arms lifted high and our voices raised. God, you deserve it. You are worthy. You are our God. We love you and we continue to praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.
give God a shout of praise tonight? Can we just lift up a shout of praise for Jesus? Come on. Come on. God is so good. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight for worship night. And one thing I know about a night like tonight is sometimes it feels like it has to stop here. And I just want to invite you guys as you leave this place, take what we have been doing, worshiping God, singing his praises, and celebrate him throughout this week. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you guys next Sunday.